the, the tree spacing and the system vary somewhat. The, you'll see later, you'll see some perpendicular V there at five feet between trees. Quad V's are seven feet between trees. Hex V's are 10 feet between trees. And what we were hoping would happen is by having uh, more scaffolds, we'd end up with uh, that vigor because you don't have size control from a rootstock. These are all on Tennessee Natural. And you don't have uh, control from the rootstock. What we were hoping would happen is, is that by spreading that vigor out amongst six scaffolds, we'd get a little shorter tree. But when we go to measure these, they're not a, hardly any shorter at all. Um, and so adding more scaffolds or diluting the vigor between different <clears throat> scaffolds does not reduce the overall size of the tree. What does reduce the overall size of the tree is the closer you plant it, the smaller it is. And so our perpendicular V's at five feet are the smallest trees. Smallest in terms of trunk diameter or yeah. height or uh, both? Trunk cross-sectional area and in canopy volume if you want to think of it that way. They're the smallest trees. And they've been that way ever since the, the year of planting. They're planted in 2007. You have a little stick here, five feet away, you have a little stick here. They're competing. The very first year they're competing with each other. And they were smaller uh, after a year of growth. They were smaller after two years of growth and they've been smaller ever since. Quad V's are the second largest trees. Hex V's are the third largest trees and the most widest spaced open center trees have the biggest trunk cross-sectional area. So, um, first thing you can learn from this is that the closer you plant the trees, uh, the smaller the, the size of the tree is gonna be. When we look at the production, uh, uh, first of all, just really quickly comparing between um, Sweeten Up and Loring. Sweeten Up was a little more precocious, and so early, uh, like year three was the first year we had a crop. We had a little bit more fruit on Sweeten Up, since then, Loring has been slightly more productive than Sweeten Up. Not so much that you'd notice it on the tray, but the, the, the numbers at the end of the year, it, it, it's, it's always, you know, 50 boxes per acre. It's not a huge number, but they're a little more productive. <coughs> the most productive system every year, uh, and, and uh, So it's been uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I gotta count, 12. Six years planted, three years of cropping, and uh, three years of cropping, and um, the most productive system uh, on a per land, per acre basis has been the quad. The hex V is neck and neck with the quad. The next best system has been the perpendicular V and the least productive system has been the uh, open center tree. But you would expect, or I would have expected, based on our knowledge of what we know with apples, that the highest density system, the perpendicular V at five feet between uh, trees, would have been the most productive, but it's not. And it wasn't in uh, the first year we planted it, the second year that we, uh, it wasn't, every year we cropped it. it it's always been behind the other two systems the quad's always been slightly better than the hex, but they've been very close. And so uh, I was wondering, why is this? Why is the medium density, if you want to think of it that way, better than the high density? It goes against dogma. Dogma says uh, more trees per acre, more yield per acre. you got more bearing surface. Bingo. There's a man that knows his peaches. Oh, you got five, you got five. What, so you get in here and you start, uh, and you can do this a bunch of different ways, but the cheapest and easiest way to do it is to count how many scaffolds per acre. Yeah. And if you count how many scaffolds that is per acre. If you just treat each one of those as a separate unit, you got right. more units per acre. So you got more productive, more bearing surface per acre. And, and part of this, of course, adds into the fact that we don't have size control tree size control from a rootstock. We don't have precocity induced by a rootstock. And so the systems and the tree density that accompanies those systems is what is having an impact on, on productivity. And uh, the quad V has been the most productive. The hex V has been second, perpendicular third, and open center fourth. And it's, it's that way. Now I keep hearing uh, from guys that knows peaches better than I do, and Rich Marini in particular keeps telling me the open centers will catch up. 
and uh, oh, it'll take three years. Well, it's been th three years, and they haven't caught up yet. And they're they're so far behind after three years of cropping that I guess the question is, who cares if they ever catch up? They're so far behind now that well, I'll never make any money on them. And uh, the the fruit size overall is smaller. To which I reply, true, sort of, All right? And here's what it comes down to, is if you got a system that's putting out 600 bushel an acre, and you're comparing the fruit size in that system to a system right next to it that's putting out 325 bushel an acre, guess which one has a little bit smaller fruit? Okay, but when you look at that portion of fruit, the actual yield per acre, that's three inches and up, they're about the same. And yeah, there's smaller fruit on these trees because there's a whale of a lot more fruit on these trees. So what I'm telling you is, is that on these V systems, the way we're growing them, with irrigation during the final swell, and that's critical, with irrigation during the final swell, we're getting just as many large fruit as we're getting on the open center, plus we're getting a bunch of two and three quarters, Plus, we're getting a bunch of two and a halves, and we're, yes, we're getting a few two and a quarters. But we're getting a lot more yield. We're getting 650 bushel of the acre on these systems. And I was told uh, when I came to Adams County that a really good grower ought to be able to get 700 boxes per acre, which is 350 bushel an acre. All right? And I beat that the first year they cropped. We're strengthening this block. I need a All strength thinner right. too. I told you that so, on the way up here. So what we do is, is, is and that's a pre-thin, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to do half or two-thirds of a good thinning job by machine. And these V systems lend themselves beautifully to uh, machine thinning. So we're, we're strengthening the tree, and then we're coming back uh, after final fruit set, and we're, we're hand thinning. The other thing we're doing to manage crop load in here is we're doing uh, Rich Marini's counted shoot uh, thing. And so we're, we're using pruning also. We'll come in here and we'll prune out, we'll prune out that pitchfork over there, and we'll prune out this big wood. We'll make these, these cuts here, we'll get rid of this stuff right like that. And we'll, we'll prune this all out. And then what we'll do is, when we're done, is we'll eyeball this and I don't have the exact number in my head, but let's say it's 25. Say we want 25 fruit sticks on that scaffold. We'll, we'll prune this out and we'll get rid of all the little crap and all the excessively vigorous crap. And then we'll eyeball it and we'll say, eh, it looks like it has about 35 yet. We need to take about 10 more and we'll bang 10 more out of there. And every once in a while we'll stop and actually count and make sure that we're, what I'll do at the beginning is I'll, I'll prune a couple and we'll do, actually do a precise count and I'll tell my guys, I got good guys, they'll look at it and I'll say, that's how they all should look and I want 25 per, and every once in a while they'll stop, uh, they got five minutes before coffee, they'll stop and they'll count and say, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving a few too many, I'll take a couple more off. They'll, they'll do a double check every now they'll and then. They'll do a double you get check a coffee every now and then. But it's, so it's counted shoots, <laughs> all right? So we're, we're setting the crop load potential with pruning, all right? Then we're strengthening to pre-thin, and then we're, uh, hand thinning and, and basically the hand thinning boils down to trying to leave three peaches per fruit stick. And if we do that and run the math, we're in around 600 bushel an acre. And if you grow more than 600 bushel an acre, because I've done this, your peach size really falls off. And that's where you want to just kind of go, whoa, you know, there is such a thing as growing too much of a good thing. I, I'm going to grow about 600 bushel an acre. And for this ground, with this fertility, with this situation, that's what this block can do and bring me the best possible uh, yield and fruit size distribution. That's 600, 620 pound boxes? Is that, they're they're or, half bushel crates. So half, uh, right, but that's 600 no, rough. 1,200. Oh, 1,200. Oh, 600 true bushel. bushel 600 true bushel bushels. Acre, okay, all right, gotcha. All right. right. Yeah, no. Yeah. And, uh, Mating disruption is all hand, hung by uh, platform. Uh, hand thinning the tops of the trees, all done by platform. Harvesting the tops of the trees, all done by platform. And uh, we've been able to dramatically reduce our labor requirements by that. One of the things that we have not done in this block is we have not 
consciously attempted to restrict or constrict tree height. I'm, I have another block. We came by a, a block of perpendicular V peaches just below this that's a year older than this, and I've been playing around because I got a lot of growers that say, I could live with a 10 foot tree, Jim. I can't live with this 14 foot tree. And then I got another, a bunch of other growers that say, we got seven feet at the most of productive bearing surface. Why have it seven feet in the air? Let's have it seven, you know, let's have it three to ten feet in the air, and that's our seven feet of productive bearing surface. And let's just bring that whole productive down closer. The problem is, is that when you go by blocks that where they've tried to do that, then they have extreme vigor in the tops of the trees because you're you're making heading cuts into a vigorous upright scaffold. Even so, you even with these big guys, you end up with a lot of vigor in the top. But you end up with vigor in the top. Yeah. Uh, the peach tree wants to be vigorous where where it yeah. has Sun. where it has sunlight. One of the things that I, I've tried really hard and I think we've done a pretty good job of is making sure that we really minimize the secondary wood in these trees. When you start seeing this. You missed that last year is what I was looking at. When you start seeing right. this, you're in trouble. Yeah. This is the this is the cardinal sin of a V system is to let secondary wood in there and get these hat racks is what they call them out in California. You do not want any kind of secondary wood. What I'll do oftentimes when I'm pruning, like here's one where I did it, I cut back last year, or my guys cut last year, this was the fruit stick last year right here, okay? And they, they had a, a one here where they had cut back to here because they, what we do oftentimes is we'll cut back when we're pruning, we'll cut back as far as we can and get a good shoot. Peaches, when, you, when you're doing this, the renewal concept is harder to do in peach than it is in apple. With apple, you can you could stub this cut here, and you can be assured that you'll get a nice renewal shoot. With peach, it's it's a pretty much a crapshoot, and sometimes you'll get something like this that comes straight out of the trunk. But as often as not, you don't. And so what we'll do is we'll cut back, and what we'll do this year. So I got a decent fruit stick right here, so we'll cut this back right to here. All right, and then hopefully next year we'll regenerate some new growth in here, and I'll be able to to do that again. So for instance here, I got a choice. I can either cut like here or here, or probably what I'll do is I'll say there's my fruit stick and I'll cut this right out. This will cut right out. <coughs> and this will cut right out. Alright? And this tree, that that one slipped away.